So I just finished watching the PlayStation 4 live conference. Well, most of it I tried to watch. It stopped and started so many times. I felt like it was an old 1967 Chevy. Come on, live feed! So yes, the PlayStation 4 came out and said, we got video games and the graphics are so crazy, they're real. You can give your face emotions. You can play rock band with your PlayStation Move and draw stuff and sculpt people. You can do anything. If you want a girlfriend, it'll make you a girlfriend. You want a cheese sandwich, you can put the cheese and the bread inside the PlayStation 4 and it'll make you the sandwich. You want to see your imaginations come to life, you can hook the PlayStation 4 into your brain and while you sleep at night, it will render immediately all of your dreams into actual graphics. It does everything. It does your taxes, it does massages. You can have sex with it. That's basically what it boils down to. You can have sex with your PlayStation 4. I'm sold. I don't care how much it costs because I don't know how much it costs because they didn't tell me how much it costs or how it looks. We're gonna get catfished by this thing. We're gonna think this, <laughs> we're gonna think the system is incredibly sexy and then when it comes out, we're like, oh man, PlayStation 4, you catfished me. Hi, I'm Andre, I'm a black nerd, I'm angry. Ah, uh, later rants. Okay, let me be for real. I'm excited about the PlayStation 4. I think some of the games that they showed looked really cool. I'm all about some Watch Dogs. I wanna watch all the dogs. I wanna who let the dogs out. Watch the dogs out. Who, who, who? That would sound like an owl. I wanna hang out with Square Enix where apparently I can turn myself into a half woman, half dragon while a rabid dog that looks like the evil dogs from Ghostbusters try to attack me. Zool! And now you can play Diablo 3 on PlayStation 4. Remember when everybody was making fun of Nintendo Wii U because they were putting out Assassin's Creed 3 and Mass Effect 3 on the Wii U when it was already out on other systems? It's a good thing everyone's excited about Diablo 3 coming out on PlayStation 4 even though the game's already out on PC. Glad that we are always consistent with how we get mad or happy with somebody. I love you. Pretty much the first half of this entire conference was all about social stuff. With the PlayStation 4, you can now tweet your game footage or put it on your Facebook and you stream it live and upload your clips to YouTube, your credit card numbers, the times that you poop. And actually while you're playing, I can actually watch you playing and then write stuff about you playing while I'm watching. It's nice that we're teaching everybody to be voyeurs and stalkers at a very young age. PlayStation 4, the creative console, and also the creeper console. I have no problem with people having social stuff on the consoles, but I am sick and tired of press conferences spending 15, 20 minutes talking about how I can share my video game feed to Facebook. I don't need you to tell me about this for 20 minutes. Social networking is not new. Show me the console, show me the games, show me the price, get the hell out. You were such a game tease this entire time. And speaking of a tease, you didn't show us a console, you didn't give us a price, and this is the thing I think was kind of interesting. PlayStation 4 is not going to be backwards compatible, you're not going to be able to play your PlayStation 3 games. You can't play your PlayStation 3 games on your PlayStation 4, so you're going to have to keep that console. Hope you like box on box on box. Did you also notice how they were talking so much about immediacy. We want a new system where things are immediate. Play a game exactly as soon as you ask for it. We'll even predict what game you want to play in the future. We will seep into your mind and say, yo, you like Little Big Planet. Boom! There it is in your face! You know what brings you immediacy? Being connected to the internet where they can show you something right away through a streaming speed. You know what doesn't bring immediacy? Discs. Discs have to load. Discs have to process. Discs take time to boot up to make you play. The internet just streams it to you right away. Hmm. A console that wants to promote being immediate and giving you game content that's not backwards compatible and talks about a format that is the complete opposite of discs. GameStop, I think you just got stopped. <laughs> You can also do remote play with the Vita. You guys are gonna make us buy that Vita. They are determined, They're like, look, if you don't buy the Vita, we're gonna make a console that requires you to use it to even play some of the games because you need a second screen. <laughs> you can buy it now, you can buy it later, but sure enough, you can buy it. And there's all this talk about how you can take your graphics and put emotions on them, which I don't, I don't want to get my video game consoles having emotions because then that's going to make me get personally attached to it. And I'm going to fall in love with it and try to marry it. And then some state's going to tell me, oh, you can't marry a console. And then I'm going to have to move to like Canada or France or Yugoslavia. Is that even still a country where they allow you to marry video game consoles? Of course, I'm going to have to divorce my Nintendo 64 first. It just wasn't working out between us. It's life sometimes. I had a mid game crisis. It ain't coming out till holiday 2013. What what are they talking about? I mean, I know they're talking about Christmas or Thanksgiving, but it's just so funny when they say holiday 2013 is Easter, Arbor Day, Grandparents Day. Be sure to buy your PlayStation 4 on Secretary's Day, everybody. What?
Will I be buying a PlayStation 4? Eventually. Maybe I'll buy it when they make a brand new next gen 3D rendered version of Crash Bandicoot or Parappa the Rapper. And now let me get to my biggest point. If we're gonna keep having these conferences, I'm sorry, PlayStation, Nintendo, Microsoft, all you guys, y'all gotta up your game. I'm sick and tired of the somebody coming out. Hello, what if you were in a world where things happened and then you could control what happened? This is how I feel, here's a trailer. Can you put some excitement in? We're talking about video games, man, like get excited, enjoy it. The only guy on that stage that looked like he was having fun was the guy that presented Drive Club and looked like he was about to have sex with that damn game. He was just like, oh, you can feel the leather. You can see it right there. The steering wheel, the shine on the decal is so good. Oh, oh, Drive Club, the semen that released from my penis. Look at the articulate textures. <laughs> I'm just saying, get a little bit excited about these games. Don't get all Mr. Caffeine on the doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just saying, you start off with that big ass rock concert, and then you just cut to some people just You're not talking to just game developers and businessmen anymore. You're talking to us, the people. Give those people, why am I becoming Bane all of a sudden? Sony, entertain us with your announcements. Give the people what they need. Do as you please. Well, thanks a lot for this presentation. That was really cool what I saw of it when it wasn't in load mode. I look forward to your E3 conference where you're gonna talk about what? You did everything here. What are we gonna talk about at E3? Vita. All right, just gonna be a whole thing's gonna be about Vita. You gonna make us buy that Vita. I know it. All right, fine, I'm gonna buy it right now. I'm going to GameStop right now, and I'm gonna buy a Vita. Black Knight Rants. Now I wanna hear from you. What do you think of all this PlayStation 4 news announcements? What are you excited about? What do you think is stupid? Are you gonna get this thing? What are your thoughts about the PlayStation 4 if you even saw the damn conference? If you didn't see it, go read a blog, and then you'll get all the information, and it will take you less time than it took me to sit here for an hour and a half waiting for this thing to load to watch it. But I do it for you. I do it to entertain you. I do it to make this for the people. I do it for the people. <laughs> Leave a comment or a video response. What if I told you that I loved you like a play cousin and I was Audi 5000? I think that trailer would be Chain Chomp. Yump. <laughs> you gonna make us buy a move too. I saw you try to put that in. Oh, you can sculpt things and draw things with the move. You can try to make us buy a move and a Vita. Don't make a brand new console just to basically sell all the crap that we ain't buy from you in the first place. I see what you're doing, okay? Nintendo didn't make a console that made you require to use the Virtual Boy. 